Oh, we told you Saturday Night Live had a little bit of fun with the vice presidential debate last night. Hey, can I call you Jill? Of course. Okay, because I practice a couple zingers where I call you Jill. Okay, great. <laughs> Well, debates give comedians plenty of fodder. And with another debate coming up on Tuesday, a presidential one, we asked ABC's John Berman to once again tackle the impossible, a look back at every debate this time in just three minutes. John, we knew you could do it. <laughs> Good morning, Kate. Well, Barack Obama is here in the fog in North Carolina getting ready for Tuesday's debate. John McCain in slightly better weather at his compound in Arizona. This just shows how big these events have become. So how did we get here? Here is a brief history in just three minutes. 70 million people watched on Thursday. Is that a lot? I may not answer the questions the way that either the moderator or you want to hear. They've been filled with stingers. There you go again. Zingers. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. And humdingers. Who am I? Why am I here? For the record, the answers James Stockdale and unclear. The history of presidential debates starts here. 1960, John F. Kennedy, Richard M. Nixon, Kennedy, handsome, Nixon, clammy. Violates first rule of dry idea. Never let them see you sweat. Sweating, bad. Sighing, bad. That's not right. Just ask Al Gore. There you go again. No debates before 1960. World never sees Cleveland v. Harrison or Garfield v. Hancock. Who are you, Winfield Scott Hancock? You're no Jack Kennedy. After 1960, no debates until 76. Country deprived of Johnson v. Goldwater, Nixon v. Humphrey. Sad. 1976, Carter v. Ford. There is no Soviet domination of Eastern Europe. Only problem? There was. There you go again. Hey, that's a good one. There you go again. 1980, Carter v. Reagan. Reagan, an actor. Reagan asks question. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Answer, no. 1984, question, is Reagan too old? Answer, I am not going to exploit for political purposes my opponent's youth and inexperience. <laughs> 1992, first town hall. 2000, first uncomfortable encroachment into opponent's personal space. 1988, first time a VP candidate rips out an opponent's throat and steps on it. I knew Jack Kennedy. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. 1992, Ross Perot. I'm all ears. Ah. Get it? Ross Perot has big ears. Debate pointers. Don't worry about the time. Don't be afraid to accessorize. I've got a bracelet, too. Don't forget to remind people of your name. I think the best thing going for Bob Dole is that Bob Dole keeps his word. Don't forget to look at least a little miffed if asked a deeply personal, horrific question. Governor, if Kitty Dukakis were raped and murdered, would you favor an irrevocable death penalty for the killer? No, I don't, Bernard. Reviews, not good. There you go again. Bulge in back of suit, bad. Makes people wonder if you're wearing an earpiece, at least until they listen to you. Saddam Hussein, I mean, uh, Bin Laden. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a message a commander-in-chief gives. If you don't like standing, sit down. If you don't like sitting, get up. To review, sweating, sighing, watch checking, bad. Ears, handsome, acting, good. It all gets confusing. Who am I? Why am I here? James Stockdale and Unclear. <laughs> Makes you wonder what the moment is going to be of this election cycle, because you can never tell at the time, right? right? It takes a few years, John, to sort of figure out what that moment was. Yeah, a few years and a little cruelty. Uh, just for the record, James Stockdale was Ross Perot's running mate in 1992. I just wanted to put that out there since I never actually answered it in the piece. <laughs> Very good. Right. But, you know, you could teach um, American history in, a, in about a week, you yeah. know, at that rate. Thank That's you, John. Right. Love those three minutes. Good things just got better. Introducing an all-new third hour of Good Morning America. Welcome to Good Morning America Now. Good Morning America Now. Good Morning America Now. On ABC News Now. Get your Good Morning America Now at abcnewsnow.com.